Well, it's still winter, I guess. It was like two degrees when I checked the temperature. But now up here it's a bit colder. It's gotta be zero still. But it's all good. Burning some calories coming up. We'll go down, see if we can get over to the sofa. And then it'll be a wrap. from the climb. Just been pushing up, trying to get some uh, seconds shaved off of the potential sunset. So I'm busting my ass to get up. And I'm bagged and pretty quiet on the way down. A little bit of ice. Whew. Yeah, watch that shit. That's wild. I guess it is ice. <laughs> huh. Oh yeah, fun little ride all the same. Make our way over to uh, Sofa King. All right, made it to Sofa King. So there's a bit of, a bit of ice down on a fun, fun trail and uh, Southridge. Nothing huge, but enough to make you wanna, you know, watch where you're going. So I don't expect there'll be much down on this trail. There is one section where the water can accumulate, so we'll see and we'll just play it safe. Right in between the jumping section down here. You can see a little bit of potential. So usually here it's okay. But right in over this. Yeah, see right there. That'd be a bad day if you hit that too wrong. Hit that wrong. Not a bit of water, okay. Yeah, so there is a bit of ice there down in certain areas, so watch yourself if you're coming out. Okay, so all in all, if you're itching to get out for a ride, go ahead and do it. There's a bit of ice in places, just like that. But honestly, it's not that bad and you can see it coming. So if you're itching for a ride, you can ride. It's not that bad. Uh, exercise a bit of common sense and you're good to go. Yeah. Get on out there and have a bit of fun.